Hey guys, what's up? Amir right here with another episode of Software Sales Review. Nikita Zikadetov. Did I pronounce that correct? I've known you for like three years and I don't think I've ever tried to You completely it missed it. It's yeah. Zedkovich, but uh, yeah. it was a good try. It was a good try. Yeah. Dude, life is all about trying. That's the, the it, moral of the story. I appreciate you taking the time to join us in this episode. I've known you for maybe four years now, five years, uh, and you currently run uh, the channel partnership at PartnerStack. I do. It's been a while. Eh? It's been it's been four years. Crazy crazy to think about it. But yeah, man, it's been four years. You're an uh, old man now. You went from being twenty four to twenty eight. <laughs> yeah, apparently uh, older, but yes. Um, yeah, that's it's crazy how time flies, man. So crazy. so you're like running partnerships in a partner software. That that's got to be that's got to be interesting. I, I, we'll get into that later. But like maybe you could tell everybody who's listening just how you got into the role uh, to begin with. What what you know what made you join Partner Stack. Yeah, honestly, it was, uh, I always tell the story, it was kind of serendipitous. Uh, I used to be part of something called, in Canada, called Next36. It was like this incubator program that helped a lot of organizations or a lot of, you know, people kind of start uh, software companies. Uh, and so our CEO, Bryn, at the time, um, was kind of poking around my LinkedIn, hadn't added me or anything. Uh, I just shot him a no because I thought he was trying to get into that incubator. Uh, next thing I know, he shoots me a message saying, hey, I'd love to jump on a call. I said, I'd well, love to, but I don't, I don't know you. I don't know what we're going to be talking about. Um, and I just remember him saying, we're, uh, you know, we're growing like crazy. We're bursting at the seams and we're looking to hire new people. Yeah. Um, and so talk to him, uh, talk to another one of our founder, co-founders, Luke. And, you know, six years later, here we are, um, which is which is awesome. Um, In my eyes, and, uh, you're the leader of partner stack. I, I appreciate those kind words. But, uh, yeah, we have a, we have a great team across the board. Um that's tackling like a lot of really cool different problems. So, so for anybody listening, sometimes we have we have uh, owners of agencies, SDRs, and, and and remote candidates looking to get jobs, sales leaders, people looking to ultimately generate B two B lead generation, generate revenue. Right? Um, those are the type of folks that we talk to. and We love helping. W what is Partner Stack for anybody that's listening that has never heard of Partner Stack or even the the the, the category of technology that you guys play in? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, so what's the best way to, to speak to PartnerStack? I guess the best way that I think about PartnerStack is PartnerStack is two core things. We're, we're the centralized tool for any organization to launch their partner program. So we help uh, organizations launch and scale referral, affiliate, reseller, technology partner programs. And there's two core things that we do. The first is kind of all of our infrastructure. So the tooling. So attribution, links, lead forms, deal registration for partners to be able to send you business, content and collateral, training and certification. We provide a centralized place for you to host your content for partners and for them to access it. And we automate payouts and compliance globally. So do you want to pay your partners and a bunch of them out globally? We make that really easy to do. Yeah. On the flip side, uh, we also kind of have this growth lever. So we have a marketplace of tens of thousands of partners, largely marketing and referral partners that can join their program and drive a lot of business to them as well. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not just the actual tooling itself, but you're also kind of, you're also tapping into a, a pretty substantial network of partners uh, that can help drive business as well too. You're pretty advanced these days. I'm going to regurgitate what you said, but in, in simple words, right? Sure. So, so from my point of view, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I could be wrong, partner stack is a way to pay commission only reps. Right. So that's one way of thinking it, right? about it. Yeah. So, you know, we use terms affiliate, we use terms partners, we use terms value added reseller. But like when, it, when you really think of what these words mean to anybody listening, it's like, how do I pay someone who's not an employee commission only or, you know, money per clicks or money per meetings? But how do I pay somebody on the output of demand gen? Right. Um, and we call that affiliates, partners, resellers, but ultimately it's tracking somebody who's not part of your company and allowing them to get paid to drive traffic, bring customers and bring buyers your product, right? And then when you brought about the marketplace, the marketplace is really an area for those commission-only sellers, whether they call themselves affiliates, partners, whatever, commission-only sellers to find all of these companies and without talking to anybody, just apply to it, get accepted, and sell the product. Is that a general recap that you can live with? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. Um, I basically say like, if 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 you're if you're if you're a salesperson and you know you you're really good at selling, you could join any of these programs on PartnerStack, right? Like we have huge programs. We have Monday.com. We have ZoomInfo. We have Apollo, uh, right? Like we have a lot of programs that 
if you want to sell their solution and you know and people buying you probably make more uh, on a commission basis than you would at your current job yeah um, let, let, let me recap that too right like let's just say you're a top-notch account executive that has five thousand customers that come to you for salesforce and you work for salesforce you can literally join partner Sachs marketplace sign up to zoom info sign up to apollo and when you're helping your clients that you already help with with uh, salesforce you can say oh by the way Here's a link to a really awesome product that has, you know, millions of data points for a fraction of cost. By the way, we partner with Apollo. I think they're the best when it comes to mobile and email numbers um, and actually help your buyer by giving them the right thing and earn more money. And you have the potential to earn more than your job. And you're still putting your customer first by just being a real domain expert. Because that's what everybody says, become a real domain expert, right? Yeah. Uh, and helping somebody. So, yeah, anybody listening to this, if you're in our remote work community or you're an SDR, you know, kind of executive that has um relationships you can go into partner stack with no cost sign up to any program you want and earn money right like partner stack themselves i think gives about 20 percent recurring of whatever you sell right so you yeah. can even refer partner stack to somebody and say hey if you if you're a, a vp of demand gen a, a cmo a chief revenue officer a ceo and you want to get b2b lead generation you could use partner stack to go get affiliates so it's like this crazy positive feedback loop where you know, even partner stack itself is a software that's listed in your own marketplace, right? So you use your own marketplace to sell your own product. Um, we use it at cloud task as a customer. So we use it for our affiliates and our partners. And I also go sign up to other people's partner programs and, 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 and get affiliate links for all the content I write and all that stuff that you guys see. Um, what problems do you guys fix now that we know what partner stack is, what, what is the real problem that you guys are fixing? There's a couple. Um, I'd say that the main problem, there's a main problem that, that, that we fix for a lot of organizations is we help them scale their partner programs. So uh, what I mean by that is we put the technology behind their partner programs and allow them to actually work directly with partners at, in a centralized place. So for example, it's kind of like scaling a sales team without the use of a CRM. Honestly, brutal these days. Um, I don't know why anyone would do that, um, especially given all the CRMs that are out there at different price points. You got Salesforce, HubSpot, Pipedrive, Copper, you know, uh, what's it called? Dynamics with Microsoft. Um, so we're the equivalent for the partner world. Um, you know, a lot of organizations are running their partner channels without any tooling and technology. So they're yeah. still doing a lot of things out of spreadsheets. They do on like Google crazy. Forms, right? And they, hope, yeah. you know, they, they want you to be committed to being a partner, but you're not committed that you're going to get paid on time. Right, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not committed to getting paid on time. You're not committed to getting any assets and collateral, yeah. you know, that gets updated, right? And we're talking about people, you know, that are putting significant time and effort into promoting these organizations. And so, you know, the best of the best. So when we think about like a Microsoft or an Adobe or an HP have crazy elaborate partner programs because they figured out that, hey, these, these third-party vendors actually help us get to our customer faster and cheaper than we would normally. Build instantaneous uh, trust, right? Exactly, right? Yeah. And so, especially in this economic world that we live in right now, it's so much harder to build that trust with end customers because people aren't buying a, a whole bunch of software, right? But they still need to buy software. So they go to their trusted, uh, their trusted sources, um, whether it's consultants, whether it's agencies or whoever that trusted source is, and they figure out what they need from those organizations. Um, yeah. And if you're not tapping into them, then... You know, you're probably not, you're not even in the evaluation stage. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and I know that, you know, so, so the problems you guys are fixing are just lack of technology in the first place, right? Yeah. Lack of ability, lack of a way to, without affiliate links, you can't tell somebody to drive traffic and expect to track it, right? So like it's a gap no. that people don't have. And then you guys have all of the training and resources in one place so that, that, that so basically people can find you, sign up communicate with you, get trained, know what to do, stay up there with links and get paid on one platform with multiple companies. So it's, so it's like the YouTube for partnerships, right? Exactly. Cool. Uh, what types of buyers do you guys serve best? Is it service companies, software companies, anything? Who are your best fit buyers of partner stack? Not sellers, right? Because sellers can be anybody. They can be an SDR. They can be a company. They can be Forbes. They could be Gartner. They could be CloudTask, right? But from a buyer, what's the, what does your best buyer look like? I would typically say our best buyers are B2B software companies, typically between 50 to about 2000 employees. We have a lot of organizations that are a lot bigger than that, uh, but I'd say like our median or like the most common customer is typically in that range. Um, so accounting platforms, finance tools, any kind of marketing and sales, B2B software, HR tech, 
um, really anybody across different verticals, but typically B2B software, 50 to 2000 is pretty common, um, but definitely a lot of organizations about that as well. So is there any, any, any persona that you help more than another? Like, like typically, would you say that typically people come to partner stack as a tool that will help them generate B2B leads and generate, um, uh, revenue ultimately, is that really who it's serving? Yeah, so I mean, there's there's three buyer personas that we 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 typically tackle. The first and the most common is our you know the the channel sales leader, so somebody that needs tooling and technology to be able to work with their partners effectively, and has a revenue target that need they need to hit, and PartnerStack helps them hit that revenue target. The second would be like a VP of marketing that's maybe looking to launch a referral or an affiliate channel. Similar, need that tooling. They need the ability to track and work with partners, and then then they need they also need to tap into our marketplace of partners to be able to drive business with them as well. Cool. And then the third would be a VP of sales. Um, so, hey, VP of sales have big targets on their heads right right now. Uh, they need to figure out how to do that. And the by VP target, you mean revenue, revenue targets? B two B, yeah, like revenue target. Revenue. This is all about yeah, making yeah. money. Exactly right. They have huge revenue targets, and uh, the ones that are leaning into channel in any way, shape, or form, whether it's through referral partners, affiliate partners, resellers, or are finding that their jobs are just a little bit easier as a result. Do, do, do you, from a buyer perspective, do you guys better serve like uh, privately held, private equity backed companies, or IPO public companies, or startups? Like, where, where does that look like? Uh, I'd probably say like our most common customer is probably anywhere between like a series A to a series D uh, organization. A lot of, we do have a lot of publicly traded organizations on partner stack zoom info being one like into it, running a couple of their programs on partner stack as well too. Yeah. money.com, a really good example of that as well uh, too. So uh, I'd say it's a mix, but you know, traditionally as low as series A as high as IPO. Awesome. Awesome. I think I have some introductions for you. It's just rang my head. I thought of, I thought of somebody that could, could use you guys. Um, what would you say without getting too deep into it? Because we're going to do a demo right after this, right? And everybody listening, you guys get to see partner stack real quickly. Nikita's an expert, so he's going to give us a quick demo. But what, what do we say differentiates you from other um, other technologies that claim to do the same thing? Is there anything that, that differentiates you guys? And, and we don't want really to get super deep. You could just give me that top of the thing that comes to your mind. There are three things that I tell everybody that differentiates us. Um, so I want to I really just click on click on these three things. The first is just our, our partner experience for the partners across the board, right? Everybody in the space focuses on the vendor experience or the ISV or the pers person buying, but that seller experience is so, so, so important. We take a lot of pride in you know, ensuring that the partners can join the programs, drive business to them, see when their commissions are actually gonna get paid. You know, 50% of our product team is dedicated towards that. So that I think is the first thing. The second is our ability to you know, be able to power multiple partner program types. So referral, affiliate, reseller technology. We're the only, uh, tool in the space that can actually do that typically you would have to buy like one tool for affiliate one for referral one for reseller uh, we don't want you to do that we want one integration to cover all partners and then really the third that i would lean into is our marketplace uh, our marketplace is a significant source of revenue for a lot of organizations um, and it's just it's something very very unique to partner stack that no one else has um, so those would be the three big ones. That awesome. I yeah. And I, I wrote an article on you guys that I'll attach to the bottom of this podcast where I was just comparing, you know, the three that I know very well, we're a customer partner stack and, and a partner of you guys. So we guys, you know, we use you guys. Um, but yeah, there's, there's, I've definitely seen some of the things that you've said. Um, and I'm, I'm impressed with the roadmap that you guys continue to do. It would be awesome if you could show us around a little bit, man. Are you comfortable giving us a nice little demo here? Yeah, let's do it super quick. Um, share screen. Hopefully. You got this. I'll figure it out. It's just the up arrow. Okay. There you go. Can you see my screen there? See you well. Okay, phenomenal. So I mean, there's two sides to partner stack. Uh, there's the vendor side, which is kind of what we're looking at right now. And then there's the partner side. Honestly, we'll, we'll only spend like less than five minutes on this. So it'll be super quick. Uh, but basically, PartnerStack as a tool can help you scale many different partner uh, programs. As you can see here, you can have a group for- By the way, partner program, remember what I said in the beginning, commission always sales people. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, basically, if you're running a reseller channel, an affiliate program or a referral program, you could have a very different experience for that partner type. You click into that specific partner type. So for example, it's certified resellers here. Um, you click in you can have a specific offer structure for those partners. Oh, whoops, I just needed to refresh. Um, you can have a specific offer structure for those for those partners. So for example, it could be 10% of a first year revenue, 10%, $10 for every qualified lead, 20% 20 of first year revenue. 
once you set that offer structure, you know, every partner that joins will automatically get their specific links. Uh, they can generate as many links as they'd like within partner stack. Anybody that clicks on that link goes to your site, signs up, is tracked and attributed back to that partner. And once they actually close or do, they do you have the ability pay, to pay people per clicks? Yep. You can do a paper click. So for anybody listening, leads. this is a way where you can kind of give a custom plan to the right person, right? Like maybe you're working with Gartner or a big uh, publication that has high quality traffic. Maybe you want to pay them a dollar per click, right? Or maybe you have a guy who's old school, holds relationships, nice handshakes, and you want him to register a lead without a link where he actually just introduces over phone and you give him 20% recurring. So it just gives you the ability to not look at every partner, affiliate, or commissionally salesperson the same way and give them a unique payout that works best for them and you as the, the company just wanting to generate revenue, correct? Exactly. Cool. Yeah, and then we have lead submission forms. So if they don't want to use a link, they want to submit a lead directly to you, you can customize that lead form. They'll be able to submit the lead. That'll sync typically with your CRM. We have integrations with a bunch of them, Salesforce, HubSpot, Dynamics, Pipedrive across the board. Deal registration, more specific for uh, reseller partners. So instead of like a referral form, if they need to register a deal and tell you where that deal is at, uh, they'll be able to do that. And then an application form. So you can create an application form specifically to the program that's there. Um, so you can set it up to, let, to allow anybody to, to sign up and apply, or you can set it up that they get approvals where you can check out who they are, ask them where their traffic's coming from, and, and kind of set a standard for who your partners are, right? Exactly. Like aircall.io is an organization that that I love to talk through because they've been using partner stack for a, a while. But if you go into I, I am uh, with Aircall too, I like them as well. Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, but you go to their page, you go to become a partner up here, you go to channel partner. This is a page that they've created on their own site. Uh, you can become an introducer or a sales partner depending on you know the type of program you want to join. You click on become a partner. This opens up a partner stack hosted landing page uh, that you'd need to just fill out. You fill out this information here. Once you submit this application, Aircall will see that on their side, be able to approve it, uh, and then you'll be approved into their program. Awesome. Cool. Anything else, Amir? You want me to talk 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 through right now, or is this? No, no, no. I think I think for this, I think we're we'll, we're gonna do more of these demos, right? I think there's a lot to, a lot to unpack here. I think what I'm gonna do real quickly is show people just like how I, you know, how I'd love to show people my my. So I, I'm an interesting person because I'm a partner of Partner Stack. I'm a partner and reseller, commission only sales guy. I have a lot of people that are in the platform, but then I also use it as a customer that you know goes to market with affiliates and partners. So. I'm going to share my, wait, was that my screen? I see something. I see something that looks like my screen. There you go. I'm going to go back up here. So, you know, we're, we're going, you know, we become a marketplace for, for buyers and sellers and sales services platforms and remote candidates. So we have sales software. You can see here, you know, we did 888,000 sold, 90,000 earned. This is us as, oh no, you know what? Let me share my screen I th again. I think, I think we're on the wrong screen there, Amir. Yeah. We are. Uh, how do yeah. I go ahead and hold on? Let me, let me share, let me stop my share. You know, I think, I think my, I think it started sharing by itself. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me pull this up real quickly. Custom tab. There you go. All right. So this is my view guys, just as a, as a seller, right? So I'm in partner stack. I'm in these programs like ad creative, air call, Apollo, all these companies I know really well. We did 27,564 clicks, 147 referred, 888 sold which is basically almost call it 10 million, a million dollars of ARR at a 10 X we've helped probably add $10 million of valuation to companies earn 90 K. So we're using it as well. And then I can switch, right. And I could switch into, I could switch into how I use it as a seller. Right. So now I'm using it straight up as a seller where we ask people to partner with us to do links with us. So people can also take your technology and earn with cloud task where you can see the back end real quickly, how many partners we have, all my messages. And this is a way for people who want to sell cloud tasks. So don't want to confuse people, but like we use it for affiliates because we want to generate B2B lead generate revenue for cloud tasks. But then we also use other people's links for our marketplace and how we help people find software in these amazing videos, like these software reviews. Nikita, you're an awesome dude. And I love seeing you grow as a professional. I love seeing the product get better. I'm going to grill you for some more questions as we continue this demo process and just creating some more useful content for anybody who wants to contact you guys uh reach out to you learn more about partnerships what's the best way to, to reach you and uh and find you just 
uh, either add me on LinkedIn, uh, Nikita Zetkovic, um, uh, or just shoot me a shoot me a note at Nikita at Partnerstack.com. Nikita, appreciate you, man. Until next time, everybody. This is the uh, Transform Sales Podcast, the software demo review series. Let you guys go and have a good day. Bye-bye.